I grew up in Langley. I grew up in a big dairy farm out of Glen Valley, which is five miles east of Fort Langley, and spent all my life here. So she came to see me in 2014 and was just having difficulty focusing, and, um, and I diagnosed the cataract. She said the only option would be to have it operated on. Cataracts are really linked to UV light exposure, but I see younger people if they're diabetics because unfortunately diabetes is becoming more prevalent. So diabetics are getting cataracts at a younger age, people being outside without sunglasses on or protection for their eyes. So I've done cataracts in 20 year olds and 30 year olds and 40, 50, 60. And it's one of the most common surgeries done in North America. The main machine we use is called a FACO emulsification machine. So I go in through a very small incision and the only way I can see is through a surgical microscope and then I make my incisions into the eye and insert the hand pieces from the phaco emulsification machine and break up the lens inside the eye, vacuum it out and then place a brand new lens inside the eye. And there was absolutely nothing to it. Dr. Anderson talks to you and tells you what's going on basically the whole time. It's only a few minutes and it's over with. Uh, when I came out of there and, and went and had them test again, it's just like night and day. You have no idea till you go through it. She was happy because she didn't have to wear her glasses that she'd been wearing for years and years. But in ophthalmology, it's really prevalent and ever-changing with the techniques we use, smaller incisions, using special diamond knives or diamond blades to make our incision into the eye when we do the surgery. It's so absolutely important that we have state-of-the-art technology and equipment so that I can offer the absolute best and excellent care to every patient that I operate on. Thank you for donating so that we can provide more members of our community with the valuable gift of sight. Thanks so much.